evidence of a sinister past. Sacks full of documents shredded in the dying days of East Germany's communist regime. They're from that country's secret police, the Stasi. Many people still fear what's on this paper. That's because the documents are being reconstructed by hand if necessary. Each sack holds some 5,000 pages of surveillance records. For historian Stefanie Schlesia, who's involved in the process, the past is very much a puzzle. I believe reassembling all this is worthwhile to better confront the East German past. The Stasi and the files it generated are part of East German history. That's a personal reason, too. Day in, day out, the reconstruction team inches its way forward, often through chilling stories. Personal tragedies are described in detail. Especially moving was the transcript of an interrogation. I could actually follow how the questioning unfolded, word for word. Each page was signed by the person questioned. I felt like I was there. The person had to keep returning every two days. I could see how he was slowly being worked on. It was staggering. The work is slow and painstaking. Piecing together all the documents by hand would take hundreds of years. Early on, it became clear that machines were needed. So Berlin's Fraunhofer Institute was commissioned to computerize the countless paper scraps. The machine's inventor is Bertram Nikolai, just the right man for the project. I read and saw reports about how people were arduously reassembling all these paper shreds by hand. Automating that procedure was a big challenge. It was an incentive for any real Fraunhofer researcher to approach the project. Nikolai has more than just a professional interest in the project. As a West German scientist, he had personal contact with East German dissidents who were spied upon by the Stasi. In East Germany, the Stasi was an instrument of control. It built up a dense web of more than 170,000 informants to monitor the country's entire population. But in 1989, the people toppled the regime. And in January of the following year, they seized the Stasi's headquarters. The Stasi kept on shredding documents to the very end. When the shredding machines overheated, workers continued by hand. Burning the files was not an option. Now this supercomputer at the Fraunhofer Institute is supposed to reconstruct them. There's still plenty of manual work involved. First, the shreds have to be scanned and digitized on both sides. Then their search parameters have to be entered exactly. Typeface, color, torn edges, and the paper's texture. The characteristics are being refined continually. We search for scraps with the same characteristics. And once we found them, the actual computing intensive work of putting them together on screen begins, as you can see here. The computer can reconstruct the front and back sides simultaneously. The project's details are still secret, and much of it cannot be shown on camera. Seventy-odd sacks have been digitized so far. Dr. Nikolai's machine is an international success. We've had visitor groups here from Central America, victims of appalling dictatorships, people from victims' associations, representatives of human rights groups. When they had the tour you just had, they started crying. Digitally reconstructing the shreds of the past has so far cost German taxpayers six million euros. Millions are being added every year. But it's worth the cost, say specialists, where the recovered documents from 16,000 sacks 
will later be analyzed. Any page could be enormously important for anyone applying to see their file. Perhaps they'll find the document allowing them to receive the pension they deserve, or a document proving they were imprisoned and received compensation. Many people's hopes are in these sacks. Not to mention countless experiences of spying and intimidation by a toppled regime.